Alright guys, welcome to another video. Again, just a very quick video today to obviously get some news out to you very, very quickly. So again, I'm doing this all in one take. So today we're going to be talking about some of the new TBC release date leaks and I'm also going to take the opportunity for the second half of the video to talk about my new guild that is recruiting on Pyrewood EU. But anyway, let's start talking about these leaks. So all this uh, artwork has been leaked. It was first of all leaked on Reddit, you know, the Battle.net launcher, like basically a little menu in the Battle.net launcher leaking that either the pre-patch is going to release on the 1st of June or the actual game. I think the pre-patch is probably the more likely candidate for the actual leak. Um, if you read it, you know, between the lines here, basically... This, ha like, appeared on the Battle.net launcher when people were scrolling through different pages. You know when you go to the Battle.net launcher, let, let me show you very quickly, actually. You know, like, for instance, when you, you're flicking through games or you're flicking through, like, news boxes like this, apparently this, basically this image here, briefly appeared. Now, this wouldn't be the first time that Blizzard have accidentally leaked certain things. I honestly, at this point, think it is absolute genius uh, marketing design to kind of build up hype ready for the actual pre-patch to drop. Like, they, you know, we can argue that it was a genuine accident. Maybe that's true. But I honestly think that Blizzard are doing this accidentally on purpose. Um, they're accidentally, you know, revealing stuff like this, again, to as just basically a very basic publicity stunt. Like, for instance, when the, you know, the beta... There was one night, the night before the beta launched, where people could actually access the beta randomly. And I basically called it that it was going to, it was a total accident. Everyone called me an absolute idiot, um, saying that it's not a publicity stunt at all or anything like that. And then the beta dropped the next day. I just think it's Blizzard style now to just accidentally leak certain things like this to, again, just as a very basic publicity stunt. End of the day, this, this could be utter nonsense. I mean, it could be photoshopped nonsense and none of this has any grounding whatsoever. But end of the day, I'm just displaying the facts and my opinion on those facts and you can do whatever you want with that information. But I, I definitely don't think that this leak, if it is a legit leak, is revealing the release date of TBC. I think it's revealing the release date of the pre-patch and that would make sense because if the game was launching June the 1st the pre-patch would have had to have dropped already and most people are probably on the same boat thinking that the pre-patch is going to drop within the next two weeks you know according to data mine leaks and various other things so this I mean two week pre-patch doesn't really make a lot of sense to me that would not give everyone you know the average casual player enough time to level up Draenei's or Blood Elves I think you know pre-patch would be out for at least a month because a month will give everyone you know, a decent opportunity to get level 60 on their Blood Elf and Draenei's. By the way, I've got really cool videos uh, coming this week about how to level very fast as a Draenei and Blood Elf. But anyway, I'm going to spend the you know remainder of the video talking about my new guild that is basically rec recruiting on Pywood EU. So here is my new character on Pywood EU. I did level it on Mirage Raceway, and I have essentially tra transferred it to Pywood EU. Um, basically, I'm making a guild with a friend, so I'm kind of co-leading it, which I basically, not going to lie, don't have the time to run a guild myself and manage my stream and obviously my, you know, my YouTube content and everything like that. So I'm basically co-leading it with a, you know, a fairly close friend of mine who I basically have met play while playing Classic WoW. Actually, weirdly, I met him actually playing private servers, not Classic WoW. And uh, he's an experienced uh, guild leader, so I think we're basically in safe hands. And uh, yeah, so this, this is my, my name in the game, as you can see, is uh, Metagoblin. So if you are looking to join the guild, you can very easily send me a whisper in-game on Pyrewood EU. If you're not already on my server, I'd recommend you to send me a little message on Discord. You'll find the Discord always in the link, uh, sorry, in the description of all my videos, and it's on my Twitch as well. So you can send me a little message on Discord if you're not already on the server. So what I'd recommend in the message is to, you know, tell me a little bit about yourself, tell me a little bit about your experience when it comes to raiding. We, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the actual vision for the guild. So it's not going to be a hardcore raiding guild. It's going to be a very casual guild. I wouldn't even call it um, semi-hardcore. I'd definitely call it a casual raid guild. The priority with the guild really is fun. Fun, banter, having a few laughs, 
maybe, you know, having a few drinks and getting drunk uh, on a few raid nights and just taking it easy, taking it at our own pace, not rushing to level 70, not rushing for realm first, world clears, not making everyone go level working, not making the most optimal sweaty composition in the world i mean fair enough we're not going to recruit like five rogues we're going to re recruit like at least a couple rogues three warriors you know and we're not going to like stack hunters or stack warlocks and make the content too trivially easy for ourselves we're going to have a decent setup different decent raid setup not a joke setup where you know we're just you know it's free roam anything it will be a semi-serious setup but again we're not being ultra strict so don't don't be afraid to um you know if you're playing a rep paladin shadow priest or anything like that you know don't be afraid to ask if you want to join the guild we are prioritizing the player over the class definitely and again we're not really going hardcore we at least expect everyone to have most of their pre-raid best in slot gear ready for the first raid night for instance you know we're not making it too easy for people to the point where you know it's just going to be a stressful experience clearing the content you know we expect people to at least have some decent gear before they turn up to a raid and at least some decent consumables like at least one flask okay again we're not going ultra hardcore anything like that but we, we at least expect people to be you know a decent player you know we're talking 85 more well, 75 percent raid attendance probably closer to 85 percent raid attendance and we're not just recruiting for the raid team, really. We're recruiting, you know, if, if you have not that much interest in raiding, you want to join as a social, you just want the opportunity to, like, basically, you know, do a few raids, I mean, a few dungeons with me from time to time, then you are more than welcome. We welcome anyone, really. Um, if you play an NA, I wouldn't be afraid that you won't you know, be able to get into a raid or anything like that, because we are going to do later, you know, raids later in, into the evening, you know, because we'll, we'll all probably have alts on the, you know, every single person in the raid team is probably going to have alts. So, you know, we'll do alt runs for fun. You know, there's going to be a lot of that. At the end of the day, we've got, we've got Karazhan to clear. So you can, I mean, Karazhan look, is looking pretty easy apart from Nightbane. So we'll have loads of casual fun raid nights, you know, late into the evening for NA players. We actually do have a couple of people from NA actually already in the guild. And we are actually looking for someone who, you know, basically has the confidence to lead their own Karazhan group because it's basically going to be me and my friend as the basically the main two leaders and I'm going to be leading my own Karazhan run and he's going to be doing his own Karazhan run. And ideally we want, you know, to get three good Karazhan runs going, you know, every week and then having a core 25 man team with a you know, five member flex bench kind of group. So yeah, ideally we need like an extra confident, fairly confident raid leader. In the day it's Karazhan. You don't need to be an ultra hardcore raid leader with a lot of experience. You really just need the confidence, know the tactics and be able to organize people. Let me quickly, quickly tell you the raid times. So basically we're raiding Wednesday and Sunday, seven o'clock GMT plus one. So it will be eight o'clock to 11 o'clock server time but till 10 o'clock if you are living in the uk and then obviously an hour later if you're central europe european time so basically the most basic um raid days and raid times that suit the most amount of people that's what we've in, intentionally gone for so anyway guys if you are up for joining the guild either send me a whisper in game you can send me something in the mailbox if i'm not online or message me on discord again introduce yourself a little bit tell me about your experience what class you want to play again we're not having a very strict application process if i can kind of see that you're a sound guy you know especially you know basically tell, tell me what you do you know and everything like that don't 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 just give me like a you know hey i've been playing the game for this long i've done that you know to tell me a little bit about yourself and um if I can see that you've got decent experience, we'll just we'll just invite you basically and uh, just go from there. We're not having an extremely strict application process or website or anything like that. We've got a Discord and everything. I'll probably end up linking you the Guild Discord. Might even put that in the description of this video actually because you um, probably can apply it over there as well. Actually, yeah, that's probably the shout. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna put um the Guild Discord in the description of the video, and you probably can put a little bit of an application on there too. But anyway, I've definitely jibbered on long enough and got to the, uh, you know, 10 minute mark to satisfy the uh, YouTube demons, whatever. My name is Amanda Goblin until my next video. Ciao.